Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. And in this video, we're gonna just practice animating. We just wanna focus on some movement. But what I would like to do is to give you a handful of tips that are really gonna make your life a lot easier as you try to do these animations, okay? So let's get started first by talking about shortcuts. And okay, notice, like, I'm drawing very quickly. That's because I'm left-handed and my left hand is drawing on the tablet. My right hand is on the keyboard and I keep pressing the period button, okay? And what happens is, is if you press the period button, so let me just go back to the beginning. If you press the period button, it's going to advance the timing. So it clicks, clicks, clicks forward. You can see onion skin is on. So what it's doing is showing the next drawing in green, the previous drawings in red. So you can go forward in time while using, you know, keeping your pen handy, okay? So you can also go backwards in time by pressing the comma key on your keyboard. So what I like to do is I keep my non-dominant hand on the keyboard and pretty close to the mouse so I can click around and do stuff while I'm drawing. And then what that allows me to do is, if I like the way this movement's happening, you know, what I could do is go back in and draw some blur lines. Because the whole idea is like, you wanna try to make your life a little bit easier and you wanna streamline and use those, use those shortcuts to like, uh, to streamline and make yourself a little bit more efficient. Streamline your process, make yourself a little bit more efficient, okay? So if I scrub through the animation, so now I've got my right hand on the mouse, I could just go and scrub through and see what's happening, okay? So that's another thing that you should do. You should be able to click, or, you should be able to click around to advance the timing and to go backwards, but you should also get comfortable grabbing this time slider and moving things around. Sometimes I like to turn off onion skin so I get a better idea of the direction of you know where my artwork is going. And then of course, I like to also just hit the play button. So here's the here's the loop button. So let me just play this thing to see if the see if it looks right. Okay? Now, there's some areas where it's pretty quick at the beginning and then some areas where it slows down. So it's important for you to also practice, you know, putting the right amount of spacing and timing to be able to go and get something to move quickly or slowly. So in future videos, we'll go into more depth and detail, but for now, let's just say you wanna, you wanna speed all this up. You can go to your keyboard and click on each one of these double drawings and hit the minus key. What that does is it's gonna delete or subtract the drawing that you select on. So notice all of these drawings are getting mushed forward and are mushed backwards in time. And what's happening is, is every time I have a, a new location or an illustration, I'm only gonna show it for one frame. So that's just gonna speed everything up. This little guy's gonna move a lot faster when I hit the play button. Get comfortable when you do this. Get super comfortable um, hitting the plus and the minus key. Now, you can also hit the plus key, or you can go and take all of these things and then you could right click and you can extend the exposure. Um, so go to exposure and ex set exposure to two. So what that does is it doubles all of these. So when you hit the play button, it's gonna slow it down as compared to what it was before. Give that a shot as you're trying to do your animation stuff, okay? So we talked about onion skin. We talked about using the keyboard to go back and forth. We talked about taking all of these things and what you do is you right click, you extend the exposure, or you set the exposure to one, two. Let's set the exposure to three. Let's really, let's see what happens. That really slows it down and makes it choppy. All right guys, I hope that video was helpful. We'll see you in the next one, thanks.